If you're feeling overwhelmed in your space and you don't know what to do, seriously grab a garbage bag and run through your house and grab anything that you know you haven't been using. Today, I'm gonna to show you a compilation of things that I am decluttering from my space. And I would also like to thank Magic Spoon for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I have had this table runner for maybe five or six years. It's so cute. It's exactly what I want for my space, but the kids got a huge blue spot on it. At first I thought I can just flip it over and keep using it. It went all the way through. I've treated it, tried to get it out. Now the temptation here would be to say, oh my gosh, I can use the rest of this. I can cut this up. I can make a craft. We can use this as placemats. The reality is I'm not in that phase of life right now. I don't have time for a project like that. I don't wanna take that on. So I'm gonna pass this on, I think, to the Goodwill so that somebody else can still use the good material. But that's the thing about decluttering. Don't get so caught up in thinking, how can I salvage this that you end up keeping too much. I have had this little tray on my entryway for so long. And I really, really love it. It's great for setting your keys in. My daughter did a tie-dye project and when her shirt was still wet, she set it in here and it just absorbed all of the paint or the ink, the dye. This is ruined. I am gonna go ahead and once again, pass this on. I don't think I can sell it, so I'm just not even gonna worry about it. I'm gonna let it go. Ooh, this one's really tricky. These are new. These are new foundations that I just bought for the summer. Highly recommended on the internet. Everyone says these are great. Um, these are a high SPF anyway. I thought I was gonna love them. They broke my skin out so bad. So I sadly bought two so that I could mix colors. Huge waste of money. Now, I don't have to feel guilty because I knew at the time that I wasn't trying to waste money and that's something that you can tell yourself. Well, I wasn't trying to waste money. <laughs> I'm not a wasteful person. That is a bummer. Sadly, I threw away the receipt. I wish I would have been more careful. That can be my lesson. Not never try anything new again, uh, which I rarely do, <laughs> but that's not the lesson here. The lesson is keep the receipt if you're not sure. So next time I try something new, I'm keeping the receipt. These I think, because they're used, I'm guessing have to get thrown away. But let me know if these are something that I can donate to like a women's shelter. Do they take used foundations? I'm not sure. Please let me know in a comment if you know. I'm the kind of person that needs everything to be as simple as possible. From my daily routines, the way my kitchen is set up, even what foods I have in my kitchen. So Magic Spoon is kind of the answer. <laughs> if you are looking for a more simplified routine, simplified ingredients, ingredients that are going to be lower in sugar, higher in protein, if you're trying to just really focus on more quality ingredients, Magic Spoon is awesome. This cereal reminds me so much of when I was a kid. The fruity flavor, I didn't think I was gonna love as much as I did to be honest. I love stuff like this that is so incredibly convenient. The flavors that this cereal offers are amazing. It comes in fruity flavors. There's a peanut butter one, just this regular frosted one. There's a cinnamon roll, a birthday cake, chocolate. This one's just cocoa. These, the variety is mind blowing to me. I like things to be simple, but I don't like them to be boring. So I feel like this offers the best of both worlds. The cereal is really high in protein, but has no sugar. So it's great for a low carb lifestyle. The texture on this cereal is really light, but also crunchy. It's very addicting. I feel like this is something that I would love to also bring along as a snack. It's great with milk. It's also great on its own. I also love that there is 100% customer satisfaction guarantee on this product when you order online. If you don't 100% love it, they will refund you your money no matter your reason for not loving it. If you use my code SIMPLY20, you will get $5 off your first online order. So just follow the link in my description, which is magicspoon.com forward slash Simply 20. I love this stuff. And of course, I wouldn't recommend it to you unless I did. Again, I love how simple it is, how convenient it is, and the quality of ingredients makes me really, really happy. I love decorating. I also love undecorating. I think it's amazing how spaces really transform when you take things down. 
take things out and leave blank spaces. This was in my downstairs bathroom. I think it's gorgeous. I still love it, but it was just a little too much. I ended up painting the bathroom. I put some decals in there and this was here their first, but it just clashed. It was way too much. I took it down and I haven't put anything there to replace it. It's just a blank wall, which makes the accent wall that I did stand out even more. So I think I will put this on Marketplace for a couple weeks, see if anybody wants it for like 10 or $15. If nobody takes it, it's going to donation. This next one is one that I asked you guys about recently. I have eliminated wording in my decorating style. I don't like this anymore. I loved this for many years. It served its purpose. I've kind of moved past it. So I'm just gonna try and sell this one again. I think these two might be the only things that I'll try and make money on. And if you're in the very beginning phases of decluttering, don't let little items that are only gonna be 10 or $15 hold you back. Just sell big ticket items, things that are worth 50 or $100. If you're like me and you're just kind of maintaining your progress, I love pausing and seeing what I can sell, make 30 or 40 bucks. It's kind of great, but I don't recommend that in the beginning. Okay, this next one is kind of sad. My husband bought me this. He bought this for Mother's Day and it's a live plant, which I've never been able to keep alive. And here's the sad part. He told me the woman at the store, I don't know what kind of plant this is. The woman at the store told me that you like, can't kill these. You feed them a few ice cubes a week and they stay alive. I was like, oh my gosh, is this gonna be my moment? <laughs> like I'm not gonna kill a plant. I killed it. I have been trying to revive this poor, sweet, dead plant for weeks. Look at this one. Doesn't even have any life left. It's dead. So um, I, the leaves down here are still green. Is it fully dead? Can I revive this? I mean, I have no idea. If you know what kind of plant this is, will you tell me? Maybe I'll try and do a little research and save this poor thing, but I am not feeling too hopeful. This is actually, this section's doing okay. Maybe I just need to rip out this section. Like this stem is brown, this stem is green. Maybe half of it's dead. So here's something that I just sold last week on the marketplace, this dining room bench. It had been sitting in my basement for four years and I had not touched it. So I popped it up on marketplace and it sold within, I'd say 10 minutes. So I was like, why didn't I list this sooner? It was just sitting there and somebody could use it. So just remember these bigger items, um, can be worth a lot, put them on Marketplace, and then don't forget that you can also become clutter blind to the stuff in your house and forget that it's even sitting there because you've been looking at it for so long. I also sold this little blanket ladder that had been sitting in my basement for a while. It had originally been in my loft, and the thing is, when you become clutter blind to your stuff, you just forget that it's there. You forget to use it, you forget to sell it, you forget to declutter it. So when you're actually decluttering with looking for items like this in mind, at the front of your mind, I'm gonna go and notice what I haven't been using, what I can live without, um, what I haven't missed. Then you suddenly, these things like resurface in your home and you suddenly remember they're there and you remember to either sell them or declutter them. I'm getting rid of some clothes that I haven't worn in a few seasons, a black cardigan, this absolutely adorable little black dress, um, don't wear it. And then this one, I have wanted to love. It's so cheerful and it's cute with like a bright lipstick, but every time I go to put this on, I just, think it looks like a grandma. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. Sometimes I think grandma sweaters, grandma dresses are absolutely stunning. For some reason, this one in particular, I just can't get on board with. I've tried wearing it, doesn't make me confident, so it's gotta go. I'm getting rid of a purse. This is a little threshold hook that I might actually keep if I can find some screws for it. I, I do think I'm gonna set this one aside. 
I know exactly where it goes. We just did a project and I never put it back up. The screws got lost, but I'm gonna ask my husband if he has some screws before I declutter this. I haven't worn headbands. I used to wear them all the time. I haven't worn headbands in so long and I hope to get back into them. So I think they're darling, but those I know for a fact I'm not using. A random stem that I haven't used in forever. And these are really pretty. I actually think these are generally pretty expensive even at Hobby Lobby, but again, don't let that hold you back. I'm not gonna sit here and think of a million ways that I can use this or places in my house where I can put it. It was in my basement, I haven't missed it. And that's one thing that I think is really helpful. Some more clothes, some of them are from the kids. Um, some of the time, oh my gosh, this one even has a tag on it. I didn't wear this one, obviously. It's so pretty, but I didn't wear it, so I've gotta let it go. Again, just try not to get caught up on how could I use this? How can I make this work? Although that can be a really frugal way to live and very resourceful and efficient. If you do that too much, then you're gonna end up keeping too much. So like that little stem, I'm just gonna tell myself, of course I could find somewhere to put it, to stick it, but I haven't missed it. So that's a question you can ask yourself. Have I missed this? And that's not one that I talk about very much on my channel, but I think it's really good. Have I missed it? So this is something that I've used a ton when I had my broken foot a couple years ago. I had this little tray that I would have my meals on and it was really, really handy. So I kept it thinking this could come in handy again, but really when it came down to it, I realized I haven't missed it. I haven't used it, but I haven't missed it ultimately. So I can go ahead and let this go. This is the gentle art of Swedish death cleaning. It's a great book. I just did a whole video about this method, this strategy. I think it's wonderful. I don't keep books generally. I have a few for reference and resource, but honestly, for the most part, I just don't keep books. And then I have another book, another really good one. This is the little book of Huga, which is like a Danish, is it? Yeah, it's the Danish secret to happy living. It's a very cozy style of living. Lots of really warm, snuggly things. There are some recipes in here. I loved this book. I think it's a really sweet read. I just know that I'm not going to read it again. I just don't have time to reread books. If I read one book, it's a miracle in and of itself. So I know there's no way I'm going to get to reading it again. The other thing I'm getting rid of is this little and what is this actually called? There's a name for it. I can't think of it now, but if you know it, let us know. This has been part of my decor for more years than I can count. I've probably had this little thing for 10 years or more, and I've just loved moving it all around my house and using it to decorate. I am done. I'm just done with it. I have something else that I like better. So you've got to compromise with yourself when you're decluttering. If you're going to keep something, then maybe you'll have to give something else up. And it's just ranking your items in order of importance. What do you love the most? What do you use the most? And once you start kind of categorizing your items and not just saying, well, I love everything, but forcing yourself to really look at each item and rank it against the other items in your home, it can start to get a little bit easier to let things go. I've got another video here on the screen, but first, don't forget again to check the links for Magic Spoon in the description below. See you soon. Bye.